Ring out your dead. Boing. Hello, people. Uh, this is uh, Depressing Gamer, and uh, I'm doing a, another pickup video and whatnot. Uh, number nine, if I'm bloody well correct. Uh, got a few things uh, the last uh, time. Uh, been actually been out in the wild for the first like uh, first time in like six years. Uh, it's good because you know when you get older you get lazy and you're like ah oh, I got money now so I'll buy it off the internet and uh, now the you know what I mean the the whole thing that the whole um, excitement of getting things out in the wild uh, you know on uh, secondhand shops and uh, flea uh, markets and shit like that so I'm I'm definitely getting back in that I'm gonna jump my scooter and yeah and that's what I have done uh, the last week uh, few is on the internet though. I'm gonna show them by a few I bought from uh, yeah different stores and uh, flea marks and shit. Um, so let's start. <coughs> First one is pretty fu pretty funny because um, I'm just gonna see that yeah it's there uh, where I showed it. Uh, this one is called uh, You Broken uh, for Sega Saturn. I haven't paid for it. I haven't ordered it from internet, but this guy sent me anyway, and I said no. I wanted, you know, clockwork uh, night, so I got that later on, and he said that I could keep this shit, so I paid for this game, but I got this as well, so I'm happy for that. Clockwork Night is uh, like a side-scrolling uh, uh, platform game, uh, it looks really fun, I uh, haven't played it yet. Uh, I think I haven't shown you this, uh, Kim Possible. Uh, what's a switch? This is actually uh, Metal Jesus that showed like uh, you know forgotten and hidden gems for the PlayStation 2, and he said that this is really good, even though it's like a Disney. And uh, so I bought it. Look, you know, I I I believe I trust this fella. Then it's uh, uh, another guy on the YouTube that really got me into like uh, you know playing horror games again you know like the survival games so I bought a few uh, from the same buyer LSL is Manhunt 2 uh, it's supposed to be like really uh, really bad really like horror 18 plus here so I haven't played it yet it's gonna be you know this one I, I got as well I played it before Resident Evil Cold Veronica that I got the the suffering uh, ties that bind uh, midway supposed to be really scary as well. Then I got Manhunt the first one. Uh, so I heard about these Manhunt games. They're really like gory and uh, really fucked up in a bad way. So I don't know if I can play them by myself. Probably gonna get nightmares and shit but yeah I'm gonna try them on this is probably you know I bought this game because of uh, uh, what's it what's it called uh, Alpha Mega Sin always like fucking on about these games not especially you know Manhunt games but he's always talking about survival games so and I got these four for like uh, uh, $20 so that was a good good deal on those four. Uh, then I got a, uh, in a, in a, when I was out in the wild, I found this Dreamcast uh, game, Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star Online, but I'm never gonna play it online. I'm gonna be offline. I uh, heard really good about this uh, RPG. I don't have my Dreamcast yet, <laughs> though. Uh, I have uh, paid for it, but it has to be uh, uh, I have to chip it uh, because I want it region free, and it's uh, it's pretty awesome Dreamcast version I I bought. I'm not going to say what it is, but you will see when you when I get it. So this game I've heard a lot about. Uh, I'm getting my Dreamcast in like one week, two weeks, and uh, I'm definitely look forward to that. I have never owned a Dreamcast, so. And then I bought uh, three games for like ten dollars uh, only. Uh, 
platinum now, but yeah, it's pretty, it's okay. This one I don't know, I have a clue, but I just bought it, it's Ubisoft, uh, Jet Ion GP, some kind of racing game with, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, futuristic like uh, racing game. So, and also got uh, Pro Evolution uh, Soccer 9, tw 2009. If you have friends over, it's an excellent game. I think I think the 2009 is the best one as well. Uh, so this is just for like uh, entertainment. I have friends over. Uh, it's like no manual and shit. I don't give a fuck. This is just for entertainment. Uh, for visitors, not for myself in that sense. Um, yeah, then I bought today uh, for like 30. Thirty dollars. I bought uh, three games: uh, Heroes of Mana, Square Enix. Uh, I haven't played a lot of DS. You know, I recently got a DS uh, that I fixed for my uh, nephew, and uh, that I could, could could keep. That was nice then. So I haven't played any. I played like two DS games in my whole life, maybe. So. I'm I'm starting getting uh, my DS uh, collection, and now it's a very good day for me because I finally have a game that I wanted for a long time. Uh, uh, this is a, a box uh, Nintendo 64 Donkey Kong 64. I'm really happy with that. Uh, the guy in the secondhand shop wanted much more for it, but then I paid. And I told him, like, uh, you know, it's not an expansion pack in there. It's a normal jumper pack. Uh, so I got this down. Uh, uh, almost like $10, actually, what I wanted for it. And it's not a manual in it either, you know. So I'm like, no way, I'm going to pay that. So I got that down. I got the box again, though. Loving it. And I need a jumper pack. I have a 64 that doesn't have any jumper pack in it, so it's a win-win. Then I got this for like almost free, Tie 2, uh, Tasmanian Tiger. I, you know, I don't like EA games, sorry, but I don't. But, yeah, this is my first EA game, I think I have my collection. But, yeah, sometimes when you almost get them free, you buy them. And then, yeah, I'm going to see if... Uh, Tie is good. If don't, I yeah, I give it to my nephew or something. So that's that. Then I got a lot of uh, shoot 'em up games. Let's see how it is. Like eight minutes. I got a lot of shoot 'em up games for my uh, Famicom. I do them fast now. Sevius. I'm gonna do series about shoot 'em ups I got for the um, for my Famicom. Uh, Macross. Uh, this one I don't know. Remember what it's called in English? Shit, um, it's a techno. It's a fantastic shoot 'em up as well. Uh, this is a B wings. Uh, uh, Baltron. Uh, Saycross. A lot of shoot 'em ups. <laughs> Fuck. Super Sevius, the Golden Cart. So I'm gonna do a series now that I, I got a, a dazzle so I can record gameplay. I'm gonna do a Famicom uh, shoot 'em up series, I think. Because there are a lot of good shoot 'em ups on the, the Famicom, the NES. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that was really fast, the shoot 'em up there. Yeah, I bought, I bought this for like $5 as well. Yeah, I'm out. Come on, you could sh probably shoot me for buying this shit. Uh, a juice box, a handheld system. That is, I have no clue why I bought this. It makes no sense, but yeah, I bought it. I don't know what to do with it really. If it's for movies or what it is for. I've never seen this in my country before. I got a few uh, game games or what is movies for it. Here, but yeah, I'm gonna try it out, see what it is. Uh, Five dollars can't go wrong with that, really. And it looks good, you know, and it's a handle, so yeah, thank you. Peace, motherfucker.